Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel and Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So from a thumbnail, I hope you get to know about the topic of today's video. In this video, I will talk about the placement statistics of IFC Bangalore in signal processing department. So if you are following my channel closely, you know for last one month, I am sharing details about placement statistics in ISC Bangalore. And I already prepared video about AI department, computer science and automation of CSA department, computational data science for CDS department. So those videos are there in my channel. Uh, if you are interested and if you haven't watched those videos, please have a look. The link I will be giving in the description. Now coming back to today's video, this video is about signal processing department. And I am I'm able to gather data from this particular department from my friends in ISC Bangalore. And in today's video, as regular, I will be sharing how many companies have visited, what are the students got placed in different companies, how many students are still unplaced, what are the highest CTC, highest base salaries being offered. So everything will be there in this particular video. So if you are interested, please stay tuned to this video till end. And before starting the video, I always say if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when I upload a new video, you will get a stand notification. Without any delay, let's start into today's video. Now, there are 12, 32 students who got registered for placement from Signal Policy Department in ISC Bangalore this time. That means for the placement session in 2023 and 2024. But when I gathered this data, only 18 students got placed. That means 56% of students got placed. Uh, in ISC Bangalore from signal processing department and 44% of students are still struggling to get a job. So again, the same pattern is uh, getting followed that not 100% is done in any of the department uh, in ISC Bangalore. And I've already talked about it uh, in my last videos also. And uh, so among these 18 students, uh, two students got PPO offer from Qualcomm. Uh, because these students has done their internship in Qualcomm and that's why they got a pre-placement offer from uh, Qualcomm and for this pre-placement offer uh, the CTC was 49 lakhs per annum and base salary was 17.5 lakhs per annum. Now I'm coming to the slot one in the first slot uh, of the placement session in ISC Bangalore. Uh, there are four companies uh, who has rec uh, recruited students in the slot one. Again Qualcomm was there, uh, Texas Instrument was there, Mastercard was there and Samsung was there. Qualcomm has taken two students Textile Instrument, Mastercard, and Samsung has taken one student. So in the first slot, there were five students who got placed uh, in, in these companies. Again, you know, Qualcomm offered the same package, that is 49 lakhs per annum CTC and 17.5 lakhs, lakhs per annum base salary. Texas Instrument offered 39 lakhs per annum CTC and 20, 20 lakhs per annum base salary. Mastercard offered 31 CTC and 25 base. And Samsung offered 32 CTC and 16 base. So average, uh, CTC was 40 lakhs per annum and average base salary was almost 19 lakhs per annum. In slot 2, uh, there was four companies again. Uh, there was uh, MathWorks, there was Fujitsu, Lewis and Mercedes-Benz and they have recruited six students. So MathWorks has taken two students, uh, Mercedes-Benz has taken two students and Fujitsu and Lewis has taken one student each. Here, uh, MathWorks offered 29 lakhs per annum CTC and 22 lakhs per annum base salary. Mercedes-Benz offered 20 lakhs per annum CTC and 19 lakhs per annum base salary. Fujitsu offered 25 as CTC and 22 as uh, base. And Lewis offered 25 as uh, CTC and 17 as base. Uh, so if you if you uh, take an average, then average CTC for the second slot was 24.6 lakhs per annum. But average base salary is you know more than the first one. Uh, average base salary is almost 20.16 lakhs per annum for the second slot. But in the first slot, it was 19 lakhs per annum. After slot two, there was uh, five students who got placed in different companies. So there are some uh, big names like Nokia, Reliance Industries, which has, um, which has, uh, you know, visited the campus. At the same time, there are some startups like Netterine was there, Unistream was there. Uh, so the average CTC for the rest of the slots are uh, 29.6 lakhs per annum. And average base salary is 18.72 lakhs per annum. So there are five students who got placed after uh, slot two is over. That means from slot three till now, uh, five students got placed. So this is a total 18 students who got placed in different companies from signal processing department. Now you have to calculate the overall base and CTC salary. Uh, so if I if you have to calculate the CTC for all the 18 students, the average CTC would be 33 lakhs per annum. And average base salary would be around 19.17 lakhs per annum. And the maximum uh, CTC is being offered by one of the startups, that is uh, TSMC, I don't know the full form, but they offer the maximum uh, CTC, that is 65 lakhs per annum. 
surprisingly they have visited the campus i think after slot 2 uh so a person uh, uh who got recruited in that particular company uh is in the 16th position in the list that means they got recruited in the last part of the placement and the highest uh, base salary that is being offered is 25 lakhs per annum i think that is by master cards and yeah this is how the whole statistics was now what is my take away from this data from signal processing department see as as i mean i mentioned in my last videos also that placement session is not going well in any iits and isc because there is a kind of recession going on in the market and that's why not all companies are visiting the camp so here also if you can see that you know there is only one big name that is qualcomm and samsung has taken just one student uh so that's the main problem qualcomm has taken four students two ppu and two in, from the first slot and samsung has taken one student So that's why there is no and an, any other big name is coming in the campus to recruit students, and that's the problem. Uh, that's why still you know, fourteen uh, students are not getting placed. Uh, and the second thing, as I mentioned in the last video, also that the package is not an issue. Package whatever the students are getting, that's a good package. But the issue is that not any big companies are coming, and even if they are coming, they are taking very very less number of students. Like Qualcomm has just taken two students, Samsung has taken one student. So that is quite strange because. uh during my time i remember samsung had taken five six students uh from from csa department and from other departments also they are taking a huge number of students uh qualcomm also kind of following the same pattern that time but now they are taking very limited number of students so that's the main problem you know they are they are not going through a very good time in the market so that's why they are they can't recruit much number of students nowadays that's the main problem that's happening not only in isc uh in the coming days i'll be sharing uh you know videos or sharing data about iit for for iit bombay you will see there also the same thing is happening not all students are placed in any of the iits from the mtech and that's because of this kind of uh, recession is going on in the market so that's kind of the takeaway from me that you know though the salary that is being offered to the students is good but number of companies are visiting less even few big companies are visiting they are not taking much students so yeah that's it about the placement statistics from signal processing department in isc bangalore i hope you like this video and if you have liked it don't forget to hit the like button and that is about this series of placement statistics from isc bangalore i have prepared video about computer science and automation department cds department ai department and signal processing department in the four departments i have managed to get the data and that's why i prepare videos about it I know many of you are asking me to prepare videos about other departments also. I am trying hard to get the data, but the main problem is because I am from CSA department, so I have contacts from CSA, CDS, EI department. Uh, it's very difficult for me to gather data about the other departments because I don't have much contact in other department. But if I if I you know manage to get the data from other department also, I'll make videos that that I'm I'm making to you. and there will be another video i'll be preparing soon maybe in next uh, couple of weeks that will be coming up that what are the companies that visited isc bangalore and what was the roles that they have offered and what was the ctc and base salary kind of a breakdown will be there in that particular video details about different companies their roles their ctc and base salary breakdown that will be there so that video will be coming up within next few weeks and also i have i have i have managed to get the data from iit kharagpur placement statistics also so that will be one video I'll be I'll be preparing and another video will be there regarding IIT Bombay. I'm trying to get data about the placement statistics at least from CSE department for IIT Bombay. So if I get those data, I'll make another video. So there are a lot of videos be coming up regarding placement statistics in India different IITs. Uh, so yeah, I mean please stay tuned and don't forget to hit the like button whenever I'm I'm making these kind of videos and don't forget to share my videos also so that people get to know about it. And if you have any query or comments, let me know in the comment section so that I can answer them. And if you're new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a few video, you'll get a instant notification. That's it about this video. I'll be meeting in the next video. Until then.